when the narcissist sees your strength they do this this could be while you were still in the relationship or it could be towards the end but at some point they begin to see your strength because everything they do only ends up making us stronger it makes us more able to withstand force and pressure which ends up reversing the roles until you end up affecting them more than that affected you so now they see you as strong but they already saw you as strong in the beginning which is why they got involved with you narcissists are very insecure and they need someone who they could depend on as a source of security and stability so they actually admired a lot of these strong qualities that you had but because of their insecurities they were also afraid which is why they wanted to devalue and control these qualities it's why they had to put you down because then it made them feel powerful they get off on turning something good into something bad or on turning something powerful into something weak and ineffective but you had to have some level of power and strength in the beginning for them to be able to do that which is why they attach themselves to you they attach themselves to you because you had value but they diminished that value over time and it felt comfortable for them because you were under their control you were in a state of confusion and uncertainty you didn't understand what was going on but when you begin to find your strength again they don't like it because they're weak so it makes them feel insecure which is why they will try to re-establish their control over you by throwing temper tantrums or making excessive demands because they want things to stay the same and at that point you may give in to them because you don't want to cause a scene you don't want to make things worse and that is how they always get their way that is how they never feel the need to change because they know that if they have a tantrum eventually people will give in to their demands so they feel no need to change anything there's no incentive for them to work because everything is already laid out for them they're already getting what they want without them having to lift a finger but if you become strong and you start standing up to them they will begin to see you as a threat they will fear that you are going to abandon them because they will sense that their control is slipping away so then they will try to regain their control over you by threatening to leave you or by accusing you of lying or cheating so that they can establish a position of power and authority over you when really they just fear that you're becoming too strong so they have to cause you to recognize their authority or rights by engaging in excessively confident and forceful behavior to show you that they are stronger to show you that they have power over you and by this point it will only get worse because you teach people how to treat you so now the only thing you can do is walk away because if you stay they're never going to respect you they're going to think that they can do whatever they want they're going to think that it's okay when you become stronger it will only get worse they will accuse you of things they will gaslight you 
They will do anything they can to weaken you. To get you back under their control again. And when they start doing those things, you need to recognize that it's time for you to walk away because they're not going to change. When the narcissist sees your strength, it causes them to feel fear because they're very insecure and they may also envy your strength. If you refuse to give in to their demands, they will feel like they're not in control. They will feel like they don't have any authority. And if you manage to shine them, they will feel humiliated. It will bruise their ego. And they will feel unimportant. So they will try to regain their relevance by accusing you of something or by gaslighting you. They will make it out like there's something wrong with what you're doing because they feel inferior to you. But if that doesn't work, they will try something more covert and indirect. They will try to manage other people's impressions and opinions of you. They will try to discredit you in every possible way. They will make up lies and they won't even feel bad about doing that. They may even pretend like everything is fine while they're secretly saying things about you behind your back because they want you to feel less important and proud. So they will try to find your weaknesses and failures. They will try to find something that you're missing and then they will zone in on it. They will blow it out of proportion as though it's the only thing that matters. They will bring up things from the past as though it's still relevant today, no matter how much you've matured and changed. And they will use it as an excuse for anything they do to you. They will attack your weaknesses to make you question your own abilities and value, to make you feel inadequate. When the reality is that they're only doing it because they feel inadequate and that is why they're so cruel. That is why they're deliberately trying to hurt you. Because they're very weak and afraid. Which is why you need to avoid them at all costs. Because they will only drag you down and make your life difficult. You need to go no contact. You need to focus all of your time and attention on your healing and recovery. So that you can find your power. And rebuild your confidence in yourself again. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor the uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.